Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and hope you all are staying safe. Today we will see one of the interesting topics, bug reports in Android. So I will be explaining what is bug report and what is the need of this bug report, what are the advantages of bug report when compared to other type of logs. So this is Dimple here again welcoming you all back to my next tutorial on Android framework components. Let's get started. So to begin with, what is this bug report? We know that bugs are reality in any type of development and bug reports are critical in identifying and solving problems. So Android bug report contains of dump sys, dump states, lockcat data in text format, enabling you to easily search for a specific content. As I have told previously, analysis of logs is very, very important part as a framework developer who is working on Android framework. So whenever issue occurs, we have to go through the logs and from the logs, we have to get the clue and somehow solve the issue. And bug report contains uh, all the dump sys, dump state, logcat information, all of them together in a single form so that it's better and it will help in analyzing the issues. What is the need of this bug report? What are the advantages of bug report when compared to other kinds of logs? So we all know we can collect logs through Android Studio. We can use ADB uh, Logcat through ADB uh, Shell and we can collect logs. Right, but what is the speciality of bug report? Bug report will contain all the type of logs. If you want to have the details of system logs, event logs, the kernel logs and information about the memory, that is the dumpses. So it will contain dumpses of all the processes like memory, battery, everything it will contain every process running on your device the state of that process how much cpu it is occupying everything will be contained in bug report next advantage is there will be few scenarios when your screen is stuck or you're not able to reboot the device you're not able to flash your device you can only see blank screen so at those particular times we cannot co uh, collect logs through adb if our device is not getting adb detected right so if our adb is not detecting our device we cannot use adb uh, shell logcat command to get the logs so in such cases where we cannot connect to adb to get the logs we can make use of bug reports when there is kernel panic all the information related to low memory killers all of that will be present in bug report and battery starts information this battery start information everything will be present in bug report the details of the battery the percentage the health everything will be present in bug reports. So if we have any battery specific information, then I think bug report, you have to go to uh, bug report because it will contain most of the details about the battery. And uh, what is happening in a device when issue occurs? That state, that particular state of the device when issue occurs, that is captured in bug report. So all these are various advantages of bug reports. Whenever issue happens, if we just collect the bug reports and if you uh, if we review the logs, we will come to know the exact root cause of the issue. Next, we'll see what are the various methods to capture the bug report. So there are three different methods to capture the bug report. First one is capture bug report from a device. So we have to go to developer option. How to enable developer option? We have to click seven times on build details in our settings. So once we click seven times on uh, build ID or build details in the settings option, developer options will be enabled. From there, there is an option take bug report. So we have to just tap on that and we'll get a notification telling bug report is ready and we can share this bug report. So this is the first type capturing bug report directly from the device. So now I'll be showing you all how to do this. Uh, I have connected my device. So you all can see I have connected my device here through visor. Uh, then we can go to, we can scroll down, 
click on system then we can see developer options right here so click on developer options and you can see take bug report so i'll just click on that it will ask which type of bug report you want either interactive bug report or full bug report so what is the advantage of interactive bug report uh, you will get the edit box where you can start editing the type of the uh, issue you are seeing all those details just for uh, demo purpose i'll go through full bug report and i have to tap on the report button and uh, we have to wait for some time after some time we get a notification telling uh, bug report captured uh, so you all can see your uh, bug report captured and you can tap on that to share the bug report so bug report will be captured now so this is how you get notification uh, once your bug report is captured was the first method of capturing the bug report through the device we'll see the next method of capturing the bug report through an emulator so here i have emulator running we have to click on this three dots it will show more option and from the left panel in the extended window click on bug report and it's collecting the information you can see so it's very easy in emulator just uh, open emulator click on the three dots from the left panel click on bug report we'll wait here for some time so here we can see save report option so we'll just click on that and it will ask for the location right now i'll click on desktop select folder that's it bug report will be saved in the emulator from the emulator in the desktop so this is the folder that is created okay let's move on so we saw two different ways one is through device directly how to collect bug reports the next one is through emulator the third method and the very commonly used method is collecting bug report through adb it is very very easy just connect your device open the command prompt and give adb bug report followed by the path where you want to store the bug report and if you have more than two devices connected to your adb shell then what you can do is you can give adb space minus s followed by the serial number of the device so if we do adb devices we'll get the serial number of those devices followed by bug report so this uh, adb minus s followed by serial number this command you can use whenever two or more devices you have connected any uh, command any adb command you want to run you can make use of this method for example two devices are connected in one of the device i want to reboot i want to reboot the device only for one device so that time you have to give adb minus s followed by serial number of the device which you want to reboot followed by reboot command so uh, that particular device will be rebooted so now let's see through adb how it works so uh, right now so i will show you all how to use the adb command uh, to get the bug report so uh, if we do adb devices we will come to know what are the devices connected if there are one or more devices connected then we have to use adb minus s followed by the serial number that serial number you have to type here followed by give bug report and then give the path and the file name whatever you want right now i have only one device connected so i'll just do adb bug report my phone bug report give dot zip now give enter command and it will tell generating the bug report dot zip file so we have to wait for some time so almost 92% is done
so now it's done okay if we want to see where on our pc that is stored just give start dot command it will take us to that particular directory so here the name i gave was my phone bug report dot zip so my phone bug report dot zip this is the bug report that has been generated and in the device it will be there in data user followed by this partition in the device this file will be there okay so we saw three different uh, methods to uh, generate the bug reports first method was through connecting directly to the device and uh, from developer option second one was through an emulator and third one was through adb in my next uh, session i will be explaining you all uh, what are the contents present inside this bug report what are the details present and uh, many other information so i hope this uh, session was very very informative and helpful i'll see you all in my next tutorial until then take care bye